How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we reacted to Black Hole's Evil Twin, Gravistars Explained by In a Nutshell. Alright, so as I'm trying to catch up with everybody that I've missed during the science month and all that stuff, you know, like I have had literally two people upload today, which is Kurt Scat and Ice Cream Sandwich, so I'm deciding to do like a double upload day, because why not, man? I'm still trying to catch up, and to me, it's like more I'm accepting the challenge, you know? So I'm very excited to get back into In a Nutshell, even though it literally hasn't been that long since I've reacted to a bunch of them, but it should be very interesting because, again, like the unknowingness, like I don't know anything about the Gravistar, I don't even know if I'm saying it right right but it should be really really cool regardless because it says black hole's evil twin so that alone fascinates me so much so i'm assuming it's in the same vein at least like the size comparison wise you know or it could be totally different i do not know but it should be really fun regardless so i'm very excited to get this going so without any further ado here is black hole's evil twin what's this oh your reminder got that special calendar this holiday season yeah it is oh that's it <laughs> There might be an object so indestructible, what do you extreme, mean, and brutal, oh, there's the black hole. that it could kill black holes. Uh oh, Grab kill stars. black hole. Cosmic soap there's the evil part. With pure energy oh my god, I love it. Made of the weirdest material that's possible in nature. It's the visualizations what alone. What do they oh. look like? And are they just a theoretical fever dream, or will they change our understanding of the Oh my universe god, I love forever? it. Mixed with the freaking music? The birth of the most extreme objects in the universe. Yeah, anything worse than a black Very hole, man. Stars die it's in the most ridiculous. Way possible. A supernova. Yeah. We've explained this process in detail before. But in a nutshell, in less hey. than a second, their cores collapse, crushed under their extreme gravity. The stars I love like the references in, to all their other videos. The collapsing core, Seems to be doing a lot more of that. Oh. Than whole galaxies. My retinas. Depending on how massive I the can't get over was, the freaking there are two music. possible outcomes. Either the core compresses into a super dense neutron star, or it kind of breaks reality and collapses into a singularity. An infinitely dense just point breaks reality, no I love it. Or dimensions at all. Yeah. The place where the laws we of the still don't quite understand it. He calls him Sue Square. Out the window. Are reversed. We don't need it. A black hole. Gravistars are a third. Yeah, tell me more about those. option. Instead of collapsing into an infinitely dense point, the core is kind it's of what down, like a rock pulverized to dust by a cosmic hydraulic press. Hey, okay. Atoms and particles are crushed. Kind of so like hard glass turning into sand in a way. Into pure energy, a sort of mini universe, if you want. Oh. And just like our universe, this bubble ever expanding wants to expand and grow. In a fraction of a second, oh. the bubble smashes into like the what happens when star an unmovable object meets an unmovable force. The star collapsing under its own gravity I said that meets wrong. the titanic violence of the expanding energy bubble. Like Dude, the ancient hey, Mjolnir! Let's anvil, go! Is trapped <laughs> between an immovable object and an unstoppable force. That's the right quote. Thank a new you. kind of material <laughs> that we've never seen before, but that we know is physically possible. And then it suddenly stops. A gravistar is stops. born. Oh, what does it okay. Look like? Turns into something new, I Cosmic see. Soap oh my god! Illustrations Just in like this is beautiful! Holes, Gravistar can have any mass. Every single but a frame. One would be about the size of the London metropolitan oh. area and Rawr. as massive <laughs> as 10 suns. Yeah, show me that mass, the man. The That's when it gets really dark, impressive. And the coldest thing in the universe, only a billionth of a degree above absolute oh. zero. I was going to say worse if than Pluto, but a yeah, little bit. Red, even the cosmic microwave background oh. glows bright in comparison. <laughs> the thing itself is just non-existent in a thermal cold. scan. I love it. Don't all atoms jiggle back and forth? The thing is, the shell's not made out of atoms. It's made oh. from an entirely new, Mickey Mouse? unique, and extreme matter that doesn't have a name yet, and that's at the I'm very sorry? of what's physically <laughs> possible in nature. Actually, I'll just name it Flubber. The shell is so incredibly thin that atoms seem truly gigantic next to it. I'm sorry? And yet... Despite being ultra thin, because nah, it's this is boggling my mind. I mean, it did before, forces, but the shell is incredibly tight. So tight that if you wanted to stretch the whole shell by just one meter, you'd need the energy of an entire supernova. Oh, okay. Inside, well, isn't that like the strongest weirder, force ever the that we know of? of a gravistar I guess not. It's simple because it's sort of empty. Completely oh. empty. Okay, I got a perfect it. Perfect vacuum. I don't like darkness. A single atom, particle, or wave. But despite being as empty as it gets, this vacuum oh, is, there it is again. I love most it. primitive. Reminds me of those like electrical balls you put your fingers on. The universe. We need a detour to explain how any of this makes sense. Please, dude. The fundamental. You shattered my existence already. 
The inside of a hey. star breaks our brains guys are back. because it's a sort of super condensed nothing. And that is due. What does this even mean? We'll have to simplify and use metaphors to make sense. Uh, I'm of what down. You already broke me. According to our current understanding of physics, particles like quarks, electrons, photons, and so on are not really solid objects, but sort of waves in an ocean. Okay, that's world, a very good explanation, actually. Water. And in the smallest world, you also can't have particle waves without some kind of underlying omnipresent cosmic fluid. Okay. This fluid is the vacuum. Man, what they do best what is bite-sized pieces. I love it. It's the fundamental ocean at the bottom of reality. Okay. The waves of this vacuum Probably ocean definitely are the simplification, particles that but... make up you and everything else. I get it. But even when there are no waves or particles traveling through it, the fluid is still there. And uh -huh. like any fluid okay. we know, it has inherent energy. Vacuum fluid is Doesn't everything have energy, universe. essentially? The room you're in is 99.98% vacuum between the air particles bouncing around. Between the trillions <laughs> of particles vacuum. making up your cells, there's vacuum. Yeah. Just but perspective, any kind, outside. man, I love it. When our star collapsed and condensed so violently, it was as if the universe took a oh. cosmic pump Maybe and not. compressed as much vacuum fluid as physics allows <laughs> into a kind what of super What do you mean physics allows? As said before, even without any waves, the nothingness vacuum ocean of the universe has energy. But the super dense vacuum inside a gravistar has almost a billion, trillion, trillion, trillion times more okay, energy. Okay, that's a lot of trillions. Not even zeros. We're not on that level. The star. Pass that. This is an unbelievable amount of energy cool, and mass yeah. in a tiny space. Just like Again, you may have boggle my brain, man. Holes. Okay, this here's where the twin part comes from. We got the evil out of the way. Be compressed any further. It's at the absolute physical it's limit like, no. of anything that could be squeezed together without breaking physics, like black holes do. <laughs> the ocean would love to stop being so tight. It wants to stretch out and float it's back about to say, is it still trying to expand? The star, but it's trapped in the safest Ooh, prison hello. possible. The shell, which itself is right at the edge of the physical limit of Didn't it say it was like possible. very tiny compared to the atoms? Stalemate Ooh. Between two limits Again, of the man, universe. illustration on Let's point. Leave this world of metaphors and get back to our world that feels more real. <laughs> I love metaphor world, man. In our world, it makes you think and ponder. Perfectly black, eternal objects with borderline insane amounts of mass. Because they're so cold, dark, crazy, and massive, this is just from theoretical. The outside, gravistars look and behave exactly like black holes. Both massively curve space around them and create all the fun effects we love black holes for, from trapping mass and light in a crystal. freaking disc, light bins towards it, or away from it, closer. whatever. For details, hey. we've made one or two videos on black <laughs> holes. Just a few. If you fell into Pretty a sure reactor, you'd all of them. be extremely dead before you get to the surface. Spider Man survived. And ground Thanks down to by the Doom Doctor Strange. And it's once your scattered remains touch the shell, the atoms you were once made of would probably break down and dissolve completely, only to be converted into the vacuum energy of the interior. We're astronaut. What Making astronaut? The star an infinitesimal Cease to exist, bit bigger, man. And an infinitesimal oh. bit more massive. Okay, this was fun and all, but what exactly is the point? Isn't this just, just have fun, man? Science is wacky. Speculation, just for the sake of it. <laughs> now what? The point. Black Honestly, I don't need a suggested point. more than a century ago as an abstract solution to equations of gravity. For more than 50 years, they were considered See what I mean, man? Like valid, they all start with theories, but some of them real. turn true. Few believed they actually existed. But scientists kept working on paper and looking at weird things, and then we saw like, stars guys, being we thrown found around it. <laughs> by invisible titans. We saw light stretching around. Oh man, imagine gaps being in, the in that time like ex and as our technology experiencing all of this. Improved, we even sort of took a picture of them. We have evidence I've seen for that them, picture, actually. and they fit our theories. And nowadays, it's kind of common sense to accept them as real. That's fair. Black holes are extremely elegant and fascinating. Yeah, they, they are. That's an understatement, man. Questions that have traumatized <laughs> physicists for decades. Yeah, I love the pondering of science. Our best Not AI, though. Physics, they seem to delete information, which shouldn't be possible. That's what I was saying, man. You cease to exist. Stars are a relatively new idea without any of those problems. They don't need singularities that break physics or delete information. God, that's they still so the wacky, man. They black holes. Stars. But they, too, create new problems, like weird exotic matter for their incredibly Mickey cold Mouse. and tight Welcome shell. Back. Super dense nothing to make a super massive empty core. But just like black holes, they do work on paper and fit what we see in the sky. So theoretically, so they could be they real? real. That's and what's crazy. Oh, okay. Actually, Wait a minute. <laughs> there is a way to find out. 
Oh, do tell. Black holes have an event horizon, while Gravistars... Yeah, that's the cool light thing I was talking about. Matter, ...which means that they behave very differently when they smash into each other. <laughs> Why would you do the that? The of two objects as massive as they are creates huge amounts of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that travel... I was about to say, light. does it just freaking you can break reality? ...as the music of cosmic cataclysms. Oh, The collision of two black holes a bass drum. sound like a bass drum. A deep thump but, you know, exponentially quickly. bigger. <laughs> but two Gravistars colliding should sound like a gong, leaving subtle echoes behind. Ooh. Scientists ripples? are listening for these echoes. I feel like that thing's all about ripples. Cosmos. Unfortunately, black holes and Gravistars are surrounded by such strong gravity that it swamps most of the music. It's like oh. trying to tell two instruments apart through a thick wall of concrete. <laughs> You need very Again, sharp man, how you like break down while we've made it. Bite sized pieces to help me understand. I love years, it. We're not quite there yet. So, this is where we'll end this story. Gravistars have the potential to answer some of the biggest problems in the physics. Can... <laughs> or they're just another idea for our discard pile. But this is why we do science. Exactly, man. I was literally about to say that. To the way we thought it is. Hey, Bluey. The day we or Bingo, sorry. Understand the nature it was the burn reality. the whole time. Man, that oh my god, that boggled my brain. Is an ongoing process. What you right. know today might be proven wrong tomorrow. Who's this to ad? Evolve your world view, you Did have you already to say discovered? Learning. And our partner, a brilliant. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> it's to learn something new every day. It's usually like brilliant one of three sponsors. To make you a better thinker and problem solver. They do God's work. Interactive. I say that in like almost every video now. Just about anything you may be curious man, about. Man, I cannot get over From that topic of the video science, though. To data analysis, Literally everything I love about science, man. Physics of black holes. Hey. In fact, back on topic. Sort of. On a series of courses. We're talking about the twin. Expand your understanding of our universe. Each one is like a one-on-one -on -one version of a Kotzkazart video That's that dives deeper man. into the topics of some of our most popular That's what I love about, like, like Brilliant, they actually have Kurtz to get topics, it, or classes. Holes. Hey. You'll get <laughs> hands-on with an interactive model of a black hole to see how its mass Just an interactive Kurtz to get video. I know you already said that, but what it's like to that's be crazy, man. That's crazy, ...floating dangerously close to one of these celestial no, behemoths. Brilliant has a huge library of other lessons to explore, with new lessons added each month. Pretty much anything that and tickle you your fancy. Started whenever, wherever. I was about right to say any screen. Device you'd like. Spending just a few minutes learning on Brilliant each day helps you see the world in new ways, build powerful problem-solving skills. That's what I love about Kurtz to get videos in general, man. It boggles my brain. Like it helps me think, like outside the box, outside of me, anyway. <laughs> explore everything Brilliant has to offer. Start your free 30-day trial. By signing up at brilliant.org slash nutshell. There's even an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. Anyone signing up through our link will get 20% off an annual membership once Gotta their love trial it. ends. The 12,025 the Human Era calendar is here. And it's our statement about humanity. Usually is. <laughs> years ago, How many calendars have they run their on now? Together on a larger scale. This one's this really cool. And share I love just like one of the, the very cycle of humanity. Human. When our ancestors Definitely came escalated. together to build something truly great for the first time, they also but in and of itself, it's like a speck of, of like the world history. It it's so to wacky. Human today. The stories we tell and metaphors we share Very share important. our perception of the world. <laughs> That's go. why the human era could be a lamb, I guess. uses a new year zero. <laughs> it adds 10,000 years to the common era system to signify the true beginning of humanity. That's Each awesome, year, man. That's so cool. Of this very special passion project. Hey, one, two, three, four. Ah. <laughs> chronicles humanity's greatest. You tried to answer my question. I have ancestors from East Africa all across the planet. Make twelve. Man, I know I've already seen these illustrations before, but they're so cool. And join us in celebrating this time-honored tradition. <laughs> the calendar is available exclusively on our shop. Oh, I might want that dreamy bundle. Bundles with some of our favorite products. Get your piece of shared history. I just and might, man. An essential part. I already got my dust. Dogs. I get the coin. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so even though like I've just finished a whole month of Kurtz to Get videos, like I, I still love them so freaking much. Like the idea alone of their channel is just something like that, that I love so freaking much. Like I know I'm gonna say I love it so freaking much, like a lot in this, but like it's true, man. It's 100% true. Like the fact that they just like 
take it down into like the most simplistic way possible. Kind of like the whole like listening to two instruments behind like stuff that you can barely understand, you know, like you don't know where it's coming from essentially. So like in the same vein, like that's the same idea that they're, what they're trying to say, but on a way bigger scale, you know, like these, I still don't even know quite what they're called, the Gravistars. Like that was freaking wacky stuff, man. And like it all boils down to like, it's a theory right now. Like technically they're not real that we know of, but like it still could be. Like I said during the video and like a bunch of other videos in the past like the, the whole reason like they're just theories in general does not necessarily mean that they're fake or like not real like Einstein's theory of re relativity and stuff like that like was fake and people didn't believe it until he proved it or someone else proved it along down the road like it's so freaking crazy to think about like all these like science fiction stuff like could be reality later on down the road and like I love that I love that so freaking much and like everything that it was talking about in this really did tickle my fancy man like it really boggles my brain it's like well something like this could theoretically exist but like we just haven't proved it yet and like the like just sitting there waiting for it to be proven like that's the exciting part man like it could be real and like that's exactly what happened with the black holes when they were first like introduced man it's just like kind of like a, a cycle if you will like just continuing the same thing over again but like we didn't quite get to the ending of this one with technically we haven't got the ending to the black hole even though we do have technical pictures of it now but like it's so crazy I know I'm like going left and right right now in the final thoughts but like that's what Kurt's got videos do to me, man. Like, it makes me, like, just my brain melt every time, but, like, in the best way possible, dude. Like, just like I said, man, the pondering and, like, the what ifs and stuff, that's the number one thing I love about science and, like, science videos in general, you know? Because, like, obviously, you got tag along with that, but, like, it's just so freaking crazy. So, I'm gonna end this video here, man, but I love it. I love it every single time. So, thank everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So, with that said, I have been Master Zero. You guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, guys.